and welcome back to the Over 40s Fitness Podcast. My name is Tristan Lowe. Here we are late December, uh, December the 29th, 2023. And I'd like to talk about another uh, blood test result that I got. And today we're going to look at cholesterol. Uh, my cholesterol reading is doing. All right, so, okay, here's a quick look. This was taken um, uh, in uh, autumn this year. There's my name there, Tristan Lowe. I've taken out my date of birth. And if you look here, here's my cholesterol readings. You've got the HDLs. Yep, the LDLs, all the different readings there taken from a blood test. All right, so cholesterol. Uh, if you're gonna go and get your blood test taken, the sort of pathology test, so I would say uh, last week we looked at testosterone, and whilst I was there, I asked the doctor uh, and the nurse, well, you know, let's get the, my cholesterol levels tested as well. And these are the results that came out. Now, bearing in mind, I'm a 53-year-old uh, personal trainer with a lifetime of exercise, I'm six feet four, and just under 180 pounds. So that gives you an idea. Okay, I've got a fitness profession and a fitness uh, hobbies as well. But even so, just because you might be strong, healthy and fit um, on the outside, you may be unhealthy on the inside with low levels of testosterone or in this case, high or low levels of um, uh, good or bad cholesterol. So let's look at this. All right, so I'm gonna show you something here. Um, this is one of my really boring looking books, just a plain black book. But inside, in the glossary, there's a quick summary uh, about cholesterol um, in a, a short take version compared to my study book. This one's pretty quick, okay? So let's look at it. Cholesterol, a fatty substance present in most tissues, an important comp uh, component of cell membranes, all right? Lifestyle traits such as uh, a high intake of saturated fats, <clears throat> smoking and obesity, and normally high levels uh, of, will put abnormally high levels of cholesterol in your blood. Uh, leading to the deposit of uh, fatty uh, plaques on the artery walls. Okay, so your arteries will be uh, compressed or blocked with fatty um, fatty plaques caused by um, low density lipid proteins or poor levels of cholesterol. Okay, so this can lead to uh, heart attacks or even strokes. So that's a quick glossary there in one of my boring books there about cholesterol. All right, so, and of course now here, what I've got is my study books when I studied uh, cholesterol and you can see where I've highlighted it uh, back in 2008 uh, when I went to Nottingham to study anatomy and physiology and it's quite actually a complex uh, subject as well it wasn't as straightforward as the little glossary there all right so um, let's look at my readings then all right so okay let's look at the first thing then would be the low density uh, liver proteins uh, of cholesterol. Uh, my readings came out at 2.1 uh, millimoles per litre. And here it is, I'll just put my thumb on it there so you can see it. All right, 2.1 uh, millimoles per litre. And that's my low density uh, liver proteins, my LDLs, okay? Now my high density liver proteins, or my HDLs, came out at exactly 2.1. There's my high density liver proteins, 2.1. Okay, now, um, and that's in uh, millimoles uh, per litre. A combined total of 4.2 millimoles per litre. Now, I've made a little note uh, for men, generally um, a good level is a total level of cholesterol, that's your high density lipid proteins and the low density lipid proteins put together. Uh, a total reading, a good one, um, is below 5.2. Okay, so if you're 5.2 total readings or below, Okay, that's a, a reasonable good indication of your cholesterol balance. And of course, you know, uh, 2.1 and 2.1 are combined 4.2. So I'm good, I'm nice and healthy there with my cholesterol. Now, um, let's look at LDLs, low density lipoproteins, okay? Ideally, uh, below 3.4 uh, millimoles per litre. And good HDLs, uh, uh, which is your high density lipoproteins, ideally uh, 1.6. Uh, millimoles per litre. Now, let's look at something else. When you, um, when you get your uh, cholesterol uh, readings, there's a multitude of reasons why you may have poor cholesterol, too much poor cholesterol in your blood, too much LDLs, low density lipid proteins. And uh, there are um, some genetic traits that play into it, but more often than not, it's because your diet's bad, you're eating too much processed and fatty foods, <coughs> excuse me, or you don't exercise enough cardiovascular exercise or resistance-based exercise, you don't get enough sunlight, uh, you sleep poorly, smoking, alcohol, and of course, obesity. So there's 101 reasons to have uh, bad cholesterol readings, and I would um, urge you 
especially at any age really, but certainly over the age of 40, I'm 53 remember, to go and get your cholesterol readings done at least once a year. Um, what you don't want to end up is uh, on medication, on statins or another source of medication. Um, now I would go and see, I'm not a doctor, I'm a personal trainer, so I suggest you go and see your GP or a nurse there at your local surgery, which is what I did. I went and got it done in the NHS. You can go and get those readings done, your blood tests done uh, to check your cholesterol uh, private as well. And you may get in quicker. You could get in the next day if they've got the time and you've got the money. I didn't have to wait long. I think I waited a week or two, I can't remember. So hats off to the NHS there. All right, so always get your advice from your doctor or, your, the, uh, or a qualified uh, nurse practitioner. Uh, however, um, your blood tests uh, will tell you all you need to know. All right, so get them done. Go and look, go and get them, uh, go and get them uh, read as soon as possible. Don't wait until spring or summer. We're not talking about how you look or even how you feel. We're talking about what's going on inside your body, you know, as the lipids and triglycerides are transported around the body. What you don't want is for, because your diet and lifestyle are so poor that you end up with artery walls that are clogged up, okay? And that can lead to, as we know, heart attack or stroke, and nobody wants that. All right, so I'm quite happy with my readings. Again, a total reading of my HDLs and LDLs, uh, 2.1 uh, millimoles per litre on the HDL, and 2.1 uh, uh, millimoles per litre on my LDLs, with a total combined of 4.2. All right, okay, and remember, you're looking for a, a, a nice low reading like that. So, we've got, Boring study books, boring study books, and within reason, okay, boring but at the same time very interesting blood, blood test results. All right, gents, we've looked at testosterone last week, we looked at cholesterol today. You don't want bad cholesterol in your body. Look after your body. Get your weightlifting done, get your swimming done, your cycling, your outdoor sports, get out and get in the, in the fresh air. Keep your alcohol to a minimum, to a minimum. Remember, there are zero benefits to alcohol. Uh, there are zero benefits to smoking or vaping, so don't smoke and don't vape at all. If it comes to alcoholic drink and it's for a small treat or a social reason, like we might do New Year's Eve or Christmas Eve or a birthday, then great, but keep that at a minimal. Exercise regular, even if you have to go for a walk every day for half an hour or an hour. What you mustn't do is think because you can't see it, it doesn't matter. It does matter. It's possibly more important, you know, what you can't see uh, going on with your body is more important than what you can see. Yeah, you can go and lift weights and work out and uh, look good, but if your diet's poor, you know, that's just going to actually uh, uh, be detrimental. There's no point having, you know, a flat stomach and bulging arms, you know, and great long legs and, you know, fantastic fancy haircuts, which I see all the time, if you've got bad cholesterol, too much uh, low density lipoproteins running around your body. All right, that should make you feel better at Christmas. We're in the Christmas week, we're soon going to be in the new year, and I suggest you make your New Year's resolutions today, the 29th of December, not the 1st of January, because then you're two to three days behind the curve. All right, my name's Tristan Lowe. If you'd like to ask me questions, it's the podcast for the Over 40s Fitness. I'm hopefully going to get another uh, a New Year's Eve uh, podcast done about how to look after our body, and we're going to, be, going to give you some more results as well about my uh, blood tests. All right, if you'd like to subscribe, like, and share the channel, it'd be much appreciated. Here's to 2024. Look after your cholesterol. Thanks for watching.